I wanted to make a follow-up video on the importance of being able to get into the squat position, right? The horse stance position. So in a video I did yesterday, I realized that I skipped an important piece of the puzzle in detail, which is the, the squat, right? So you are here. And I realized a lot of people are naturally not able to even get to this point. Let me go back a little further here. So I use the walls as, as, as a balancing and um, as a balancing act, right? To find myself and, and if my body gives out or if there are weaker areas, I tend to lean on the wall for support and I encourage you to do the same as well. But just a horse stance in martial arts, right? So this is what we used to do all day. Our senseis used to let, you know, have us stand, hey, 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 right? All this kata we used to do, but this was the foundation. So we used to hold this horse stance for, I mean, an extended period of time. And we used to have competitions in our class on who gives up first on these horse stands. And as you can see, there's, there's a different variations. You know, we would have, we have to keep the back straight, aligned and everything. Uh, had the, the form was always critical. That's what my masters and senses would preach to us over time. So I wanted to do this video and help you, help myself, but also help you, the viewers watching is, if you are struggling to even get into that position, there's a, there, there are alternatives to build up to that horse stance squat position, right? One of the first most basic routines you can incorporate is just simply, if you, if you can, is the resting squat, this. Now, if you look at videos and if you look at, uh, if you do, do a basic search on YouTube, the resting squats, different variations again, depending on your flexibility and ability, is one of the most recommended positions for hu humans to, um, to take. And it's encouraged throughout the day to take these resting squat positions. And as you can see, just simply sitting down, right? Let's face it, right? Uh, this is a very, a popular position, especially when it comes to human waste removal, aka defecation. I know it sounds hilarious, but it is caveman days as well. This was this was how you this was how you did your business, and even today, this is how you do your business, right? So, if you cannot get into this position, that means there's mobility issues in your back, your ankles, lower back, upper back, and also your balance, right? So. I mean, I, I feel amazing just sitting here. I can just feel very zen-like. Obviously, it takes a while for you to get to this position. Even what I just did there, I didn't even think about it. But it was very easy for me to do this because I've built a lot of years of resistance in my hips. Very flexible. I've, I've, I mean, I still don't stretch as much as I should. But I'm doing this video to help you figure out, hey, how can you get into a horse stance position? So... I would encourage you that in between your weightlifting sets every day, in between your sets, try to do, try to get into the resting squat position as best as you can, whether it's flat on your feet, a little bit on your, on, on your toes. Um, and then what I would suggest is try the free hand squat, right? So nothing fancy. So you, you do your reps, you do your weights. Um, your legs right now. Now you move to the squat position. You're not necessarily going to hold it, but you're going to test it. See how far you can go. Like if you're at advanced age, if you're older, Gen X, uh, even in your mid thirties, heck, you know, I even see younger people not able to move and, and um, lacking the flexibility, mobility uh, to, to even get in these positions, right? So what, what you want to start off with is I recommend just mini squats. So let me get a little closer. So mini squats right here, right here, and see how far you can go right here. Now, obviously there's no back support. Uh, and, I, and, I, and today I positioned my water gallons in a way that I can go and find a space in here. So now let's take advantage of our best friend here, which is the wall, right? This is exactly why we have the wall to 
to help us get into a horse stance. Okay, this is where you really figure out how far you can go. So, so you, I, I would gently just maybe get your feet out, just in a reasonable position, not way out there, but just maybe maybe a step, right? So now that you have that. Keep your back straight and just for starters just try to just you're just gonna do this slide down slide down slide down slide down and you should you should start feeling a reliance on your hips your thighs your knees your, your ball joints you start you, you're going to find resistance now kicking in and this is where you sort of find, okay, do I let go of the wall here? Is this the part I let go? And if you let go, can you stay here? Or do you fall right back into it? If you fall right back into the wall, that means you gotta keep working on these movements, on these up and down. So once again, you try to drop, I use the blades just so my clothing doesn't get stuck here. I use the shoulder blades to just gently try to pop down Obviously, I can go pretty pretty deep in my squats. Right here, I'm doing excellent. I can come off it. I'm doing excellent. But most people, if you if you have not done these squat positions, or if you if you're not accustomed to doing squats, use the wall as your as your best friend, as your guide. Um, and the other thing I would suggest also is that you use the back. Right, you may be fine on your back but now maybe some of us struggle with holding ourselves uh, from going forward that could be a core issue um, and so for that again i'm not an expert this is what i've done over the years so for this what you want to do is use the wall again you can use this just sort of give yourself enough space right just to find yourself here using the wall again this is not and then you climb back up again here see you're just testing out you're testing out where your body you apply a little bit of force to the wall just balancing right there so you can dip as you find your balance you let go do this right just let go just a little slowly to see if you can find your balance maybe go higher if you're struggling right can you, can you do this? Can you get to this point? Can you get to this point? Now, as soon as you find a reasonable ground, a, 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 an equilibrium, equilibrium, there you go. Yep. Stay there. Now work off this. This is how far you've come, let's just say, for example, right? Now work off of this and try to go lower. And as you go lower, find try to find the balance right there. You gotta try to always find the balance. That's what you're doing. Balance. You're also healing your back too, by the way. Uh, there's therapeutic benefits, blood flow. You know, everything going to your joints. Your your working your quads, your glutes, right, your ankles. Um, so once uh, you can even use the rail guards. You can use the rail guards. Obviously, this is uneven. If I was just get more and more closer. This is what I would be using um, just so I can get a balance right there. See, this, this may be easier for some folks because you actually get to grip something that that's totally fine. Once again, just drop into it and find it. As soon as you feel a little comfortable, you start loosening up, let go. Boom. Folks, I hope that was helpful. And um, again, I didn't mean to just drop into a horse stance video yesterday when i went to bed it occurred to me hey there's a lot of people out there that cannot actually get into a horse stance so how do we get there so hopefully the, the few ways the three ways or so that i showed you were very helpful i will do another video uh and incorporate horse stances how to get there obviously your stairs uh, if you have a stairwell you're also very lucky because i'm going to show you routines you can do on your stairs as well for stretching and mobility explosiveness so stay tuned for that thanks for watching on to the next one mamba out